Dr. Ariane here. Today I'm going to talk about vagus nerve stimulation and how you can use this principle in your life to become more grounded, more mindful, and more present. So the vagus nerve is also considered the wandering nerve in Latin, and it is one of the longest nerves. It's a cranial nerve, so it originates in the brainstem. It innervates the muscles of the throat, of circulation, of respiration, digestion, and elimination. So it is a very, very powerful, powerful nerve. When we think about a lot of the common symptoms that people present with, so physical tensions like neck pain and back pain, when you feel like you always hold your tension here, you always hold your stress in your neck and shoulders, when you potentially grind your teeth at night, your dentist tells you that you, you grind your teeth, you clench your jaw during the course of the day, possibly heart and lung issues like shortness of breath or asthma, emotional type issues like generalized anxiety, and digestion issues, so diarrhea, constipation, potentially bloating. So there's so many common symptoms that we might present with. Now, of course, each one of those could correlate with other conditions. However, when you have multiple symptoms, it's typically indicative of a dorsal vagal nervous system state, so which I'll speak about. So Dr. Stephen Forges came up with the theory of the polyvagal theory, where he looked at the nervous system and basically recognized that it wasn't just as simple as fight or flight or rest and digest. So that we have different components of the nervous system and that can indicate how our nervous system state is moving through the world. So we have our socially engaged state, which is where we want to be. That is our optimum nervous system state, which means that we are joyful, we're present, we're grounded, we're you know, living in the moment. So all of that is, is indicating that we're in what we call the ventral vagal state. We also have fight or flight, which we're more familiar with. Fight, we are going to be enraged, we're angry, we're ready to fight, right? We have flight, which means we're fearful, we're panicking, we need to get away from danger. Our nervous system is perceiving some kind of danger or threat. And then we also have what we call a dorsal vagal state. This means that we are in a free state, so we're immobile. We're, um, we don't, we're feeling a sense of hopelessness and it's, it's hard to be socially engaged with the world. So regardless of what state you're in, you are able to shift that state through vagus nerve stimulation. So there's lots of different mechanisms, mechanisms of vagus nerve stimulation, some of which are very, very basic. Some of them are uh, revolve around breath work. So there's lots of different breathing strategies, but great diaphragmatic, just basic breathing can be stimulating the vagus nerve to create a autonomic nervous system relaxation response to bring us back to a op more optimal socially engaged state. Then we have things like cold showers. I know that it's tough, that's a tough one for me for sure. <laughs> we have cold showers, we have humming, chanting, gargling even. All of those are great for the vagus nerve uh, stimulation as well. Meditation, uh, exercise, even probiotics have been shown to be powerful um, stimulators of the vagus nerve because they affect digestion and elimination. So you can see there's lots of different ways to stimulate it. I'm gonna show you a very basic exercise. This was uh, by um, Dr. Stanley Rosenberg, who wrote a book called Heal The Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve. So it's a very simple exercise. You're going to lie on your back. You're gonna interlace your fingers like this and bring them behind your head, so the, on the back of the skull. You're going to look with your eyes only to the right while you keep your head completely straight. You're gonna do that until you sigh, swallow, or yawn. Once you have that response, which should be within 30 to 60 seconds, you're going to look to the left with keeping your head straight until you sigh, swallow, or yawn. So again, the exercise should take 
30 to 60 seconds on average on each side. The only time it takes longer is when you're trying to overthink it. <laughs> so that's the only time I have to time my patients and say, hey, are you overthinking? Uh, but typically on average, it's about 30 to 60 seconds. When you get up from that exercise, the typical response is when I say, how do you feel? It's good, calm, relaxed, nice. I feel like I can breathe better. So the exercise is very simple, but it is a cranial nerve reprogramming exercise to engage the cranial nerves that are involved in social engagement. So by placing input to the back of the head, you're putting input to all of these nerve endings in the back of the head, creating a little shift in the first and second vertebrae via the fascial tissue, which helps to improve blood flow, which is helping to stimulate the cranial nerves. The sigh, swallow, or yawn is a sign of relaxation of the nervous system. So when you get that, ha, ah, it's like kind of like taking that deep breath. So this is a very powerful technique and it is so simple. So I have been having all of my clients do it um, before their sessions. I have them do it as a homework exercise. So the, the more you do it, it has a cumulative effect. So it can begin to shift your nervous system state to a more socially engaged state. And remember, that's where we wanna be. Mindful, present, joyful, loving life. Want to interact with, with others as opposed to feeling hopeless and immobile and just not wanting to, to do things or feeling angry and pissed off all the time. Um, you know, any of those things we want to try to limit, right? We want to love life and enjoy life and be joyful. So again, very simple, simple exercise, super powerful, um, can't recommend it enough. And again, you can also integrate all of those other wonderful things for vagus nerve stimulation on a regular basis. We, because of modern society, because of social media, because of our phones and technology, um, and you know, just sometimes interactions with others can be really challenging, work challenges. It's really important that we take time to really work on ourselves. Self-care and some things like this that I always try to give, or they're so simple, they take no time at all, but they can be really powerful in how you live your life. So I hope this helps. Have a great day and have a great weekend.